Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about something that I think happens in mainstream education that I think is pretty damaging. It's a way in which I think students are conditioned to bullshit, and they are conditioned away from admitting when they don't know things. Why do I think this is an issue? I think that admitting when you don't know something is really beneficial. And I think that bullshitting can actually cause damage in a number of different ways. If I'm going to someone and I'm asking them a question, and it's a question where there's something at stake, like I'm trying to solve a problem, I'm trying to make a decision, or I'm just trying to learn a subject, if I ask someone a question and they don't know the answer, but they just give me an answer, and they don't tell me that they don't know, they don't tell me that it's a guess, and I believe them, I then have incorporated this misinformation into my thinking, and that can cause damage. So I would always prefer that people admit when they don't know something, if I ask them a question. I think that society would be a lot better off if we operated this way, too. Now what happens in mainstream education, though? If you look at how assignments and tests are typically graded, it's very common for there to be like a question on a test. Like, there's a question, and then there's like a blank, and you write something in the blank. And in general, if you write something that is correct, even if it's a guess, you're going to probably get a full score. Now, if you guess, and it's sort of partially correct, in many cases, you might get partial credit. A lot of the times, if you just guess outright, and it's wrong, you may still get some partial credit for effort. But, if you leave the question blank entirely, you'll typically get a zero. This is the way I was graded for most of my education. That includes most of elementary school, junior high, high school, college, and graduate school. There were a few exceptions where I was graded in different ways, but this method that I just described makes up the majority of my experience in education. And when I started thinking about it, I realized that it creates a really bad incentive, because if you admit that you don't know something, and you leave the question blank, it punishes you for that and it rewards you for kind of BSing, it rewards you for guessing, and it also fails to distinguish actually knowing the answer from correctly guessing the answer. If you correctly guess the answer, you get the same score as if you actually knew the answer, in most cases. The few exceptions might be when there's a way to demonstrate that knowledge through like a mathematical proof, or a more thorough explanation, or something like that. Those cases are pretty rare. So the system of incentives set up by this pushes kids, or conditions kids, in the direction of bullshitting, and away from acknowledging or admitting that they don't know something. There's another way in which I see this play out, and that's when teachers ask questions of a class and call on students. Uh, generally, if a student is called on, and they say, I don't know, I find it's pretty common for the teacher to kind of pressure them to say something. They'll be like, oh, well, why don't you try guessing, or something like that. One of my friends told me that she actually had a teacher who told her that she knew something. She said, I don't know, and the teacher's like, oh, I think you do know that. <laughs> That's kind of an extreme example, but it illustrates how the way in which the teachers talk to the students in this classroom environment can be conditioning them away from uh, admitting that they don't know something, and conditioning them towards bullshitting. I would really like to see this change. And I've seen examples of how it can be changed. Um, I had one class in which the tests were graded in such a way that if you guessed incorrectly, you would have more points taken off. Now, it, it seems like it could be a little harsh, but the tests were graded with a large curve, so they tended to not be as difficult overall, but it set up an incentive where if you didn't know the answer to something, it was in your best interest to not guess. 
That's just one example of how to approach this. I think when you're talking verbally to kids, you can approach this uh, in a very simple way. Like if someone says, oh, I don't know, you can be like, good, good that you admitted that. And then, then you can move on to someone else who might feel like they do know the answer. And similarly, if someone guesses wrong and they admit that it's a guess, then that's great. But if someone states an answer with confidence and it's wrong, then I think it's important to call them out on it and be like, hey, if you don't know something, don't speak as if you know it. Teach that distinction starting as early as elementary school. I think that that could drastically change the sort of social conditioning in our entire society in a way that would have huge benefits for people, because it would be conditioning people and encouraging people to admit when they don't know something, rather than bullshitting. So I hope that I've challenged some ideas, and as usual, I would love to hear from you, so please comment if you have any questions or anything to add. And also, I really appreciate when people share my ideas and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you want to share this video, it really helps, because I want to get this message out there in society, and I want to start influencing and changing our culture. Thank you!